Okay, I think he's realised that there's, kill, there's yeah. not there's not the space for it. The shadow strike from from uh, from Kabu trying to battle up against the track, but in comes the nice soccer, and this is actually a kill here. There's no way for him to get back out again without the big ass stunning, and then the call on top. But they throw out the lightning, and there's your blink the screen. Kabu's gonna find it. Garda, the support coming in from the also being charged at red. Ravage of the Marvel, hitting very hard to aggressive, ensures the kill for the Tidehunter, and Carver here as well, they're coming in way too quick in the Sonic Wave, aggressive is a big kill to take, but another Wire Strike Array is going to connect here from Q, Carver with a scream, he can't finish the job, aggressive will stay alive, and SB wants to keep going for this, charges down, charge up from the time, and you actually hit daytime as well, lean up way too deep, but it's going to be fine, they still find the best. A little bit easy to kill off Moon Knight. The troll, the Sandstorm, is chasing up the Lena. He'll end up killing him off as well. There's a Dragonite who has a poison breath on him. That toxic attack, which will end up getting that kill. But at the same time, Red, he can't be kept alive. Even with the two points up and the shell, it's not enough. Aggressive turns on that Pulse Nova, ensuring the kill onto the Dragonite, but not before he... A lot more favorable for the Meanwhile, top lane, Kabu and XZ. Battling it out here, Nether Strike available will not... Latch on to Kabu, who manages to blink out in time, but it seems Chaos is now starting to favor C deck now that it is stay time. Nice just doesn't quite have the vision advantage, and DK's haste room, once that fallen. wore off, uh, suddenly Tongfu were kind of. C deck know what's up, they're gonna completely ditch this top tier 1 tower, and this is the point where Chen Dragonite is kind of reaching their, kind of finding their stride, they would just take whichever towers on the map. I have a job with the fallen side of the leader, but the Yule Sap number from Aggressive doesn't have to put out the battle, so he can just walk in, and, uh, well, he's going to be third as well, he gets the second, second stun, and it's sticking going to work, 128, 147, 168 for the stun damage, this is all going to be now put in the Kabu, swapped out a little bit too early, the blink, and he blinked up, he actually blinked north into the tree line, and they saw which direction it was, even though it's a little bit deceptive, he's not in this fight, which is the more critical thing, the chance going to drop, he's panicked on the second queen of pain, there's no extra healing, as Curve Break is just charging in, the clock is in no position to fight, they've lost U9 as well, and uh, well, that's his BK beat down, flying back, he has Dragon Form, but you don't get much more from Forward. I mean, a lot of people doubted this team after maybe left and joined LGD, but showing that they are not missing anything, even with that young star gone. And I think even going up against Ehome, I would even consider them slight favorites based on how they've played and how Ehome's played, because this C deck team has been pretty flawless and very polished with their execution. Yeah, I agree, and that's going to be something. Reserve Under the time. tower, taking a lot of damage and just having the last hit in the tower, which is never easy to get. Forest strike on Phoenix. He does have a curse dive available, so getting this kill should not be possible. In fact, he will jump away and LPC with that orb attack. You can join up to this one. He's going to find the first blood. Well, well that, that's, uh, that's behind him. You can't guarantee that. They're jumping up over on top of Kabu. He's got no mana left. Okay, he's, okay yeah, he does. He just punched on the, on the mango, but he's still going to die. They're trying to defend bottom lane with the Sand King. Sandstorming it up is dead power regardless. And that's a, an ambitious crowd. Keep these roots. You can avoid one of those, but they got trouble for Viper. Turns around. United is really, really low, however. A good stop coming with the restoration. Paralyzing Kabu. He does have enough damage to kill off the Darkseer. But he's going to lose his own life here. Unless he's going to go directly into Death. Oh, Pitch is coming through. Got him. One, two, three. All on the bottom lane. There are only two isolated here. It's and C deck for the top five top farm tiers in the game as far as net worth goes is getting Radiance pretty hard for Tom Fu to take fights anywhere on the map. It's only 5.2k net worth for the Fur Ranger, it's so, alright. Yikes. I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I here. 235 damage now on the Tro Ranger, and she doesn't even, I give it to everyone, uh, including herself, and she doesn't even have that Yasha which is just sitting inside the base. I, Puck, Puck. wait, no. Melody's in trouble. Melody's in a lot of trouble. Uh, has Tick Charge, that's not going to be enough to survive. The damage from the Puck is more than enough, and they're actually battling over inside the Radiant Jungle. Phoenix jumps away, but into Nova. There's a lot of heroes around here, and now Tro Ranger, the Gustle, she fights right for the egg. No, it doesn't. But the Paralyzing Castle bouncing up off the Mud Golems, now into your dead ward. Droid's picked up a double kill, chasing up the Kabu with a creep wave! It blocks him in! He can't even walk away! They would have still had vision anyway, you know! Cross arrows, is there? They're going in after the Viper. They're trying to get 
Yeah, they keep chasing though when your corrosive skin does finish it. She's gonna jump in and vengeful spirits flying. Not only does he have mech, he's also got the Viper strike, but he's detection back into a wall and Viper back in a lot of trouble here, but he's still alive. He's looking to come back in, but already the puck arrived at the right time and GG. I need a 20. I, I, I went for 17 for 20 on the European yep. division, though. But okay. then, like, these oh, yeah, I didn't do this division. That's a good point. I'm yeah. just, my, my predictions are still safe. You're fine. Forget the outcome here. My predictions are what matter. And CDEC undefeated. They yes. are the only team to go undefeated through the group stages uh, for at least our first two divisions. There's 